We've seen the headlines, the breaking news, and the word is out that Afrigen has embarked on a very exciting journey to establish an mRNA technology transfer hub in South Africa. What can you tell us about the hub, what it is, and what it will do? The first mRNA hub based here at Afrigen in Cape Town is an initiative under the COVAX objectives to, over a multi-year program, establish capacity and capabilities in low and middle income countries to produce vaccines. First a COVID vaccine and then a pipeline of other vaccines relevant for the burden of diseases in these countries. The key players here is Afrigen, Biologics and Vaccines and BioVac, based in Cape Town and a group of universities in South Africa and also in Africa, building long-term pipeline and sustainability for this initiative. The wonderful thing about this, this consortium is also that we had a facility ready-made to receive equipment and technology and start process development, hitting the ground running. That was a very important objective for the WHO who wants to fast track this and have results as soon as possible. What is your vision? Where do you want to see this go in 5, 10, 20 years' time? So I have a vision of, of, of Africa in 10 years from now having vaccine security because we have the ability to produce, we supply, and we will build around that an economic system of multipliers in terms of the enzymes, the raw materials. We will build an industry. I see this um, in, the, in the next five years that Africa will be able to produce at least 50% of the vaccines, the COVID-19 vaccine that we require. That is, that is a very ambitious target, but I believe it is very, very possible if we see now how teamwork and how there's, there's, there's suddenly a wave going through Africa that nobody is going to stop. As long as we receive the essential medicines we need through donor aid organizations from manufacturers in US and Europe, we will always stand with our hands out to receive. We need to change that.